afternoon, how's it going? It's uh, August 12th, it's 2 o'clock and it's the first day of the Premier League season today and uh, basically a little bit late dealing with a few technical problems uh, the camera that I used to uh, film it and switch on uh, there was a few other things going on there to put some fuel in as well but that's irrelevant We'll get there on time. We'll just be on time today. And it's a busy schedule. It's uh, three games in nine days. It's Stoke today. It's a European game on Thursday. And it's Manchester City away on, uh, on Monday. So we're going to be filming more, going to more, watching more. Today's Stoke. It's a really important game for many reasons. One of the biggest reasons is we have got one of the hardest starts to the season that I can remember. Certainly a living memory, for me anyway. And uh, today is the easiest one of the year for what? On paper, Stoke at all. Um, I forget the other fixtures off the top of my head, but City, Tottenham, Man United, as well, it might be Arsenal playing them all basically at the start. And if we don't win today, we get a good start, there's a very good chance that we could be right at the bottom of the table and if we don't get good results against the top teams. And there's no guarantee that we're going to get results against the uh, top teams, especially at the moment because the transfer window hasn't closed and we've not replaced our biggest departure, which is Lukaku. Initially, when we signed Ray Rooney, Ray Rooney, Cuban was saying that he could play up from there. And uh, he did, he started playing him up front on the uh, two European games. And basically, he's realised that he's not a striker. He used to be, but he's, he's not anymore. He's certainly not, not a Lukaku replacement. And uh, we have played him up front with him, we struggled for pace. At the moment, we're struggling for height and pace.
right back. I think uh, I might have just saw, just like I saw, that that man seen him. It's not very good. I think there's a chance that we can play Tom Davis at right back. There's even a chance we can play three central defenders today. And uh, Tom Davis be an actual uh, wing back. Whole game is alright. Like I said in the last part of last season. summary outside the ground and in the van so uh, I'll speak to you very soon so we just got out of the van that's all the fans walking down I wouldn't say we're late I'd say we're just on time so we're in the shop I would advise to go to the shop beforehand most people get vodka you can get chocolate They've still got them fudge bars. I like my drifters. We're gonna go for two drifters again. And I'll go for uh, biscuit and raisin yorkie. That's the one. Isn't it? Yeah, so we made it. It's currently 25 to three. We're gonna buy a program. Program, please, mate. Okay, Wasn't cheers. Different guy today. Let's get that stuffed in my pocket. Let's be ill. We're on holiday. I like the old guy. He gives it that proper old school feel. Oh well. It's about 16 degrees today, 15, 16 degrees, a bit overcast, so the sun's going to come out a little bit later on. Like, in England, summers ain't always the best anyway, but this year has been a particularly poor summer. 
even by British standards. It's felt more like autumn or summer. So hopefully we'll get a couple of weeks sunshine in a few weeks. Because we've not really had much, it's been quite cloudy, quite subdued. But there's always something about the first game of the season. It gets everyone G'd up, it's a special day. And unlike the European game that we went to, we're selling booze inside the ground. It's be a good atmosphere. All the seats will be open, unlike the uh, European game, when some of the ground was closed off. That, that affected things, no doubt. As I left the house, Liverpool were losing 2-1 at half time. So uh, I don't know what, what the full time score is. And it was a good game last night, Arsenal against uh, Leicester. Still cut through it. So hopefully it should be a good game today. Both teams are going to want to win it. I don't think Stoke are going to come to, uh, to defend, although you never know. You never know. I think, uh, like I said, fan zone is going to have finished by the time we walk up. It'll just be a case of uh, doing a quick tour around the ground, shooting straight in to get our seats. I remember to, uh, to get my ticket, bring it with me. Prepped my food before I came. Last season I was going to the shop and buying chicken butties, but um, I've given up bread completely. So I've made a chicken salad. It's quite a big chicken salad, chicken breast salad with beetroot. <laughs> it's in my bag, it's stuffed in my bag. So my uh, bag's like a pregnant woman. It's about to explode. I'm just hoping I get away with sneaking it all in. It's got all that chocolate, water. Everything in it, sunglasses, keys, sat nav. Well, just one sat nav, but it should be interesting. It's a heavy bag, big bag. I'm just coming up to the ground now. The sun's just peeking out. You can see all the people down there. Arms are killing me. I'm blasting the gym, absolutely blasting it. Today's rest day, Sabbath, Sabbath rest day. So we have planned it. Have a quick peek down Gladys Street. We can't go down, we'll get trapped. But we can have a quick look. Just to show you how round it is. The sun's come out, so I can't see anything on this viewfinder. We'll see now. That's busy basically. We won't be able to get down there. Oh, I'm quite lucky with it's your merchandise. You must buy. Yes, scarves and patches. Yes, an art scarf, buds are a flag. You must stay scarves and patches. There we are. Scarves and patches. Ramp today. Ramp is going to be a interesting walk up here. Hello. 
Snip it on. I wonder what it's trained to find. I've always wanted one that's trained to find money. I wonder if you could buy one that's retired. It's not a joke, some sniffer dogs can uh, are trained to find money. I think the pub might be empty now. <laughs> so close to a match day. <laughs> so that's what the pub looks like empty. Because everyone else has gone in. <laughs> so we're definitely a little bit late. <laughs> Takeaway. I was driving home last night. We got it. Someone that sells coffee inside the gym. I've not had any coffee for two years. Every time I go in the gym, I smell coffee. Which makes me want coffee, basically. After all this time, addictive. Just pull the, pull the ticket out of my pocket. Sorry about that. That was unexpected. No, I don't go near him, he's checking back. So 
got it in. Happy days. So it's a lot busier today. Contents of my bag. Absolutely rammed. Chocolate keys. Everything. That's my meal. That's my pre-packed meal that I brought, and that's my water. Oh, anyway. So I'm just going to pop into the toilet and I'll pick you back up and we'll go and sit down. Alright, so we've done with that and we're going to go out to the stadium.
now for the mighty blues of Hamilton. We are with Asbaros. In goal, wearing number one, Jordan Pickford. Two, Robbie Schneider. Three, Lisa May. Four, Michael Keane. Five, Ashley Williams. Six, in captain, Phil Jagielka. we play in. And uh, a little rundown about how we're going so far, but it was a good timing when we got in. It looks like a good atmosphere for today, everyone's well up for it. I'll speak to you soon. Right, so we've been playing a couple of minutes and basically Michael Keane's playing a right back. Calvert Lewin's playing on a right wing. Sandro That's pretty funny chanting from Stoke fans. Uh, Rooney is playing just off Sandro. Klaassen's playing behind him. He's not really got anyone on the left wing, apart from Baines. Jack Yauk is playing left, left side of the uh, defence. Williams is playing right side. And Gway and Schneiderlin are playing central midfield. So, he's definitely having a dilemma about who to play at right back. It's been a bit quiet, it's not, it's only just started really, but we've not even been uh, up our end for our attack yet. Stoke fans are really noisy. Shot on target, Quake, shot from about 18 yards out. 
And uh, that, that's the second shot, the first one on target. And it, it, was, it was easy ball for the keeper. We'll pick you up soon. So here it goes, this is our first corner. Let's see what we can do from this. At least we put him under pressure. We could do a hit in the target from shots like that, couldn't we really? Well there you go. That's only the third shot and we're 24 minutes in. And we still only had one on target. Because that wasn't on target, was it? So we just keep losing the ball in the 18 yard box. We just can't get it forward. We've got no one that we can give the ball to when you can get it and then run forward. I hate to say it, we're missing Barkley a little bit. We definitely are, we need to get that goal. Like this. Get the ball like this and then we'll just give it away cheap. See? Give it straight back to them, and then they go on the attack and put us under pressure. Michael Keane's playing right back. He's not getting forward at all. And basically they're pinning us back in our own half. Rooney's getting frustrated. Taking everything quick. It's like this, we keep playing game free kicks instead of lining all the players up into the box. We'll take it quickly. And then give them the ball straight back. Oh, took it short. And then we'll play it to a defender. He'll play it to him. He'll play it to Klassen, and then we'll lose the ball. So we had, we had that free kick, we could have pumped it in and scored off header, but we've got no height. So we just keep giving it away cheap, we give it back. We're trying to play it tip-tap through the middle, and if that doesn't work, there's no plan B, no second option. So we've got a free kick here. But every other free kick we've taken it short and not pumped it into the box. The players are moving forward this time, we're actually going to pump it in. Michael Keane's come forward. So let's see what we can do on this. He's looking for some movement, shrugging his shoulders. <laughs> oh, that was really bad. So the first time we've attempted anything like that, we didn't even get it into the box. This is what I was saying about scoring early on. <laughs> need to, uh, we just need to get a bit of confidence in ourselves, get, get a bit of a game plan. The players can see that it's not going right themselves. We're lacking that height in the box. So we, like I said, we have to tip and tap it through and that's not working. It's worrying to be honest. So it's a corner. Let's see what we can do on this one. Get on the day. Came to nothing basically. Just give them a free kick. Pretty much uh, the story of the half, really. Baines has just done this amazing run through the middle, trying to show us what we actually need to do, which is put a ball up and run at them through the middle, or at least start running at them. Because nobody else is doing it, and we just haven't got that quality of people that can do it. Rooney used to be able to do it, but he just can't do it anymore. Sandro, he had a bit of an attack down the left, 
and then he passed it and he gave the ball away. We just keep giving the ball away. We've got no one in the middle of the park at the top end that can get the ball and hold it up. We've got no target man. It's just not happening for us. We're, we're just trying to do it one way. It's not happening. The players are getting frustrated. The fans are definitely getting frustrated. The away fans can sense that everyone at the home end is getting frustrated. And it's just one of them. He's going to need to change it at half time. There's no doubt. Needs some, something needs to happen. And the fact that he's playing Michael Keane as a right back shows that he's not got confidence in the other right backs. And Calvert Lewin, he's playing as a, as a, a right winger. And he's a centre forward. And it's just not happening. Klaassen, he's playing on the left, but he's drifting inside. And nothing, nothing is happening. It's just, it's just there's no fluidity to, to what we're doing. We need some big changes. One minute of extra time. <laughs> well, that's exactly what we needed. That shut the Stoke fans up as well. Brilliant. <laughs> One nil, brilliant. Well, uh, it's half time very, very, very soon. We'll do the half time report in a minute. Right, so I've come on to uh, the gantry to do the half time report this week. The reason for it is because last week, the music that we were playing in the background, YouTube picked it up and they uh, ran my video worldwide and had to re edit it for the old the ages to do. But anyway, what a difference. Changing it for it was working, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't. 
All right, so the music, the music stopped, and uh, we're going to flip through the program. Season ticket holder. Also, going to say happy birthday to Paul Denley, love from Johnny, and all of the family. Nan and Granddad will be so proud of you. Happy 40th birthday. We love you from oh, the, wind, the winds against me today. Well, sir, to their dad. Happy birthday to Ted Merlin, who is 18 today. We love from all the family. Happy 40th birthday, Mike Williams. Love from your wife, Diana, daughter, Aaron, and all the family. A very happy 20th birthday. Sorry, running anniversary to Michelle Dutton and Mark. Happy 30th birthday to Mike Williams. Happy 30th birthday to Mike Williams. And finally, good welcome to Jack. Sorry about that. He played for Everton, Marcus. He was the Welsh manager and he was playing up front for Everton at the same time. It's strange that, isn't it? So he scored on his debut. That's what you want in it. You can't get better than that. Uh, I'll try and show you the contents of my bag now properly. So yeah, substitute at half time that Martin has come on for Ashley Williams. So Martin has gone to right back. Michael Kane, he's gone back to central defence where he should be. Uh, just give us a few more options pushing forward because even though Martina wasn't brilliant going forward, Michael Kane was non-existent going forward. Michael Keane even was non-existent going forward. So that's a substitution at half time. This is the uh, that's the chicken salad that I pre-prepped last night to bring in and uh, that I'm going to eat with him but throw it on for fork as well. And that's the fudge bars, drifter bars and your bar. So quite a picnic that I've got to eat here so I'm going to devour this as the, as the second half is going uh, going down hopefully I won't get that beetroot down me but uh, you never know <laughs> but uh, it's staying on my clothes so that's the chicken breast beetroot salad it's been devoured glad I snuck that in well needed best idea I've had in a while that yeah so we're on uh, 56 minutes now been a complete opposite to, to the first half, the second half. Rooney's been dictating play. We've been sat in their half, spreading the ball out, finding the players, holding the ball up. And we feel like a different team, basically, full of confidence. But just, just playing well, playing in, playing in their half, and uh, making chances, creating opportunities, maybe making tackles to stop us. And, uh, yeah, things are on the up. So Klassen's coming on, Tom Davis is coming on, he looks like he's going to be playing an advanced role Tom Davis, rather than a defensive role. But we're on the up at the moment. Just had a drifter bar as well, I don't think you're going to eat all that chocolate but I could not eat some of it. I'll probably eat a bit more in a minute because it's pretty tasty, really. Sandro's coming off. Morales is coming off. Coming on. Peter Crouch, before he was caught, was in a little bit of havoc in the box. Got me a little bit worried before. No, no, we've nearly eaten the uh, Yorkie as well. <laughs> what can you do? Looking comfortable though, but I wouldn't like Kirk Crouch to get on the end of one of those crosses. Because he's just, he's just a big guy, he's effective in that way. Doesn't matter how old he is, he, he can still have the ball. It's such a contrast 
to uh, the European games. Where everything she was doing, it just wasn't coming off. All in passes, we were just going into the crowd. But this time it looks a lot fitter, it looks a lot healthier. He's actually got a bandage on, on, his, on his hand, it looks like he's damaged his wrist. I can't remember whether it was his left or his right one, but he's wearing a long sleeve t shirt, so he's definitely got some kind of hand injury. But he looks a lot thinner than he did a couple of weeks ago, so you can tell that he's really been playing the lucky. Tom Davis has come in, he's been playing really well since he came on. Morales has been playing well since he came on. Pickford's not had a lot to do, but he's just got that confidence about him. Michael Keane. He's been, he's, been, he's been a really good player, he's been stopping everything from coming, from coming through. Just really good performance in the second half. The only thing that we've missed really is that goal just to finish it off. I think it could still come. We don't look like conceded. Although, like I said, when you put the crosses in to Peter Crouch, and you have Crouch next to Baines or even Jagielka, you do worry a little bit because of his sheer size. But I think we're comfortable at 1 0. 1 0 is a good result. The scores have just come up and Chelsea are losing 3 1 to uh, Burnley. So uh, that's pretty funny. And the other's field are winning 3 0 against Crystal Palace, so that's a strange result as well. Yeah. So hopefully we'll hold on and uh, we'll get a good victory. So it's five minutes to go. Stoke have got a corner. That could have been a bit, a bit of a problem with Peter Crouch on the field. Pickford's been marshalling the defence. This is probably the best attack that you've had in a while. And again, he's calm, confident, and flats it. He's been marshalling the defence really well. He's saying he's such a young lad. He's not afraid to boss the players around. So there's one minute remaining, and he got into the corner. Days. Corner after Pickford just made a brilliant save. There can only be a minute left. Four minutes. Four minutes of extra time. We must be close to the end. <laughs> so we won 1 0. Happy days, happy days. We really scored. Crowd were loving it. Results went our way for uh, the result of this game of the season. But for the big teams, they lost. So, oh, Drew. So, we played really well as well in the second half. For everything that I said about the first half, where we just we didn't play right. And we just, they, they were counting our half. It was the opposite in the second half. We just played Rooney around the show, spreading the balls, knocking it into space, doing everything that was needed basically. But, and towards the end, he slowed the play down, he dropped down to the floor a few times, broke up their play. He did everything that he did. Really intelligent play. Tom Davis came on, he did really well. Morales didn't do a lot when he came on, but he did a lot of good running. What we'll do is we'll let a full review in the van on the way on. And, uh, <laughs> happy days, speak to you soon. Alright, so we're just about to uh, hit the motorway on the way on. A bit of speed in us. And uh, yeah, what a game. I remember in the van when I was on the way here and I was saying the first goal is going to make all the difference and getting the confidence in us. And that was the story of the game, really. Before the goal, it was, lack, it was lacking confidence. Stoke were camped in our half. The crowd were on all the Everton players back. The crowd was quite quiet, really. And there were Stoke players, Stoke fans were going to ruin a huge fan. He, he can, you know, the rest of it. And he, he was getting to it, you could tell. He was a few misplaced passes as soon as that goal went in. Whole scene started believing in Rooney. And Rooney started believing in Rooney. And it just changed the whole game how it was. And uh, it went through being a game that was probably going to 
wind up a nil-nil. Not a very exciting game. One that Stoke were not controlling, but they had an element of control over. It's one that we dominated. In the second half, it was just a tail of two halves. In the second half, we just, we just dominated them. Played in their half, it was great chances, really. Rooney ran the show basically, he rolled back the years. And uh, if you watched the European game where we went to it, and they were saying that he didn't look fit, and I think he said on the van on the way home that he looked, looked like he smoked a million cigarettes and had a million Burger Kings. Like, he kept, he kept his fitness levels up, his energy levels up, and he was, he was like a different player today. He looked a lot slimmer, he looked like he'd really been training hard. Made a difference in all the passes that, like in that European game, that were becoming misplaced as, as he lost a bit of confidence in himself and lost and didn't have his fitness. It was the complete opposite. Every time he got the ball in second half, he was looking to spread the play into, uh, into the channels for people to run into. He had that touch of class about him, that air of confidence that Cuban said at the start when he signed him, so he had been there, done it, knows how to control the game.
do with someone who could be placed as more of an orthodox left winger. We just don't seem to have that person. Uh, Tom Davis did really well when he came on. Lots of energy, winning the ball back. He seemed to galvanise the midfield like um, as a unit. Him, Gway, Schneiderlin look a lot better than Gway and Schneiderlin um, just on their own. Like uh, every time he, he had that commitment, that passion to win the ball back, to go in, and that, that zeal to get it, and it made the difference. It really did. Uh, Morales, when he came on, he did a lot of running, running, ran down channels, really played a lot of balls to him. So, happy days, happy days. Um, like I said, this is the first game of three games in nine days. We're going to. Uh, Let's people know that it's a good video to watch and uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think.